What's up YouTube? Hey guys, today we're going to be doing another video on vertical jigging, but let me explain. I don't want you to get bored before you and leave before you go, but I want to I want to explain. Um, first of all, I had a video uh, out a couple weeks ago and had a comment on the video saying, hey, you know, you never showed us how you're, you're vertical jigging. It's a good video, but you're not showing us how you're doing it. I was a little upset at first because I was like, man, that's kind of rude, but you know what? I started thinking about it and he's like, he's right. I really didn't show it. I just showed me vertical jigging. Did a little bit of talking, but not a whole lot. So today's video, I'm going to exactly show you what I'm doing. We're going to use live scope footage. That's my goal anyway. I'm just going to turn it on, not turn it off, show you the whole time. We may catch fish. We may not catch fish uh, just for this short little video. <clears throat> um, but I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So I'm going to start off with a 12 foot ACC crappie stick and um, I'm going to show you my little setup here if I can. I'm going to leave flip some. I'm kind of close here, but <clears throat> I've had to reposition myself because we are right in the sun the way we're fishing the wind is. But basically I have a, a little bell weight right here. Um, and then I'm using braid, 12 foot braid or 12 pound braid. Let me get that off the camera. Got a swivel and then I go into a mono line with about a two, two and a half foot um, I guess uh, distance and length and then I'm using a jig so this jig right here is uh, the gray ghost but the whole point of this is that when let's just say this is my jig right here <coughs> we're gonna shrink it down this is my weight this is my jig uh, what happens is in live scope I'm seeing two different things moving up and down does that play a big difference probably not until you get into a bunch of fish when you get into a bunch of fish it's really hard to watch that one thing going you have to kind of jerk it real hard in order to see it move up fast so when you have two things moving concurrently that's where it plays a part the other thing is fish love unpainted heads they love the look of lead so if i'm getting down there if i'm shooting a um, this is a, hey, a 1 16th ounce jig 132nd it's going to take forever to get down there so i'm going to have to put a weight on top of it do i want let me get this, get rid of some of this stuff. Do I want this jig sitting this far away from the weight? I don't, because what's gonna happen, those fish are gonna come right up here to my weight and attack that. So what I'm doing this way is I'm getting that weight way out of the way. I'm putting that jig in front of, it, in front of them, so hopefully they're gonna hit the jig. Now, there are still fish that will hit my weight, and you feel it, it feels like a bite, but you just gotta know, you gotta do it long enough and know the difference. So, all right, let's, uh, let's do an opening real quick, do a quick prayer, and then we'll get into uh, doing some fishing. So let's do it. So guys, as I do in every show, I like to start off with a prayer, just a, <clears throat> a way of thanking God, a way of praising God, a uh, way of further, furthering his kingdom. And um, so if you will, let's pray with me. Lord God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love, your mercy, your judgment, Lord God. Thank you for the many promises that you give it to us, Lord God. Um, pray right now for a good day of fishing, Lord. Um, we got some good wind out here. Pray that you'll keep us safe and everybody on the lake. Um, it's Thanksgiving, uh, about to be Thanksgiving break. So there's about to be a lot of people out here. I pray for safety for them, Lord God. Pray for anybody watching right now, Lord, that you'll reach down and give them your power. Let them heal or let them feel your, your strength as you're healing them, as you're uh, mentally healing, healing, just whatever, Lord God, help help us to give our problems to you and not take them back. Just give them to you to heal, to fix, Lord God. We love you. It's in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, guys, let's get to fishing. I got to rearrange a boat, and you're going to be facing right into the sun. I hate that for you, but I hate it for me too, but uh, you'll still be able to see what we're doing, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start off with a little thump gel. But you can't go without thump gel. 
you haven't checked it out check out the code below you get a discount on your thump gel purchases plus the thump net if you've not seen if you've not seen the thump net i'll show it to you after a while but it is amazing all right so i've got this going now man i had a big fish there too i don't know where it went Oh, there's some fish down there. So let me show you what I'm doing. I have to cast out a tad bit. So there you go. You see my jig coming down. It's kind of getting out of the picture. There we go. I'm right in front of a fish there. So let's see what happens. And there's where the big fish are. Let me get my depth. I'm going to throw this out again. So this is vertical jigging with a pitch. So you see it coming down. Now I'm about to go into a whole bunch of bait fish. Not real happy with that. Let me scare them off. Ah! Not what I wanted. Okay, but I see the big fish again. So here we go, vertical jigging. I'm gonna kind of do this in a live format. So as you see, see my weight's going down first. When I stop, the jig comes down. I came back a little bit too far there. Let's go back again. I don't know if I'm gonna catch him in that bait ball. There he goes. So I'm dropping him down. You see my weight on top of the tree. I should be right about where that fish is now. I am. Okay, now I can see him better. So let's try this one more time. Too far back. All right, here we go. Send it right past him. He may not want. If he saw it, he didn't turn around. He may not want any movement. Just go down and try to sit it right on top of his head. Man, he's not, not excited about that. Oh, there's the big one right there. One followed, he got it. That's the big one I was looking for. That may not be a crappie. If it is a crappie, it's a huge fighter. Oh my gosh, it is a good crappie. All right. So as you saw that, I'm leaving this thing running. And um, I'm going to turn it off. That way I can sync it up pretty good. But there we go, a nice good sized crappie. I am keeping some today. One of my friends, Tina Ladybug, she's got a YouTube channel, she wants some fish. So I'm gonna get her some fish today. And I'm gonna put this fish in the thump net. Gotta love that thing, fits right into your, right into your uh, live well. All right, let's get that sucker filled up. We'll catch another one. All right, so as y'all noticed, there's a pretty good distance between my weight and my jig. So all I'm doing is trying to get that thing down. In this case, my weight's coming down first, my jig was coming down second, and just kind of slowly coming down. Once that fish, it got right by the fish, he took it. It was hard to see on that, but I could feel it, and then we saw him come up. So let's try it one more time. Just stop here. We got a few. Drop on down to four feet. It's a little close, but... So this is going to be a good example of going straight down and...
doing the vertical jigging. Where'd that big old... There it is. There's a big brush boss, but I want to try. Okay, that's going to be a good one here. A good example. So you see my jig going down right there. So basically, I'm just going to run down here, put it right on top of them. See if I can pull anything out. There's one coming to look. And he didn't want anything to do with it. He took off. Let's try that one more time. All right. Dropping the jig down. Kind of run it right through the middle of this. See if there's anything there that wants to bite. So here's the problem with these is that nothing there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop down. Oh, there we go. Got him. He came out and got it. See, so here's the problem with these is that a lot of times those unactive fish are sitting right smack in the middle of that thing. And so you're fighting with active fish, you're fighting with um, inactive fish. But he pulled it out, he, he got in there. So when you dig in, get into a brush pile, something with a lot of fish in it, just mainly look on the outside, that's what I see here anyway. Your outside, your upper levels are gonna be where your active fish are. Decent little fish, chunk them in a thump net. Let's go try it again. There's, oh, there's a nice fish there couple of them. Let's see. Getting a little... Let's stick it right in front of his face. Here he comes. He's coming to look. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a tad bit. He's not following. See if I can't make him mad. Nah, he didn't follow. Let's go back down one more time. Give me a little more slack. God, dog, I cut that tree again. Go for that one tree on the edge, one fish on the edge of the tree. <clears throat> All right, there's my jig. It's going down. Go ahead and stop it. I'm gonna just kind of coast right by all this, these limbs, these fish. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and drop down on this guy. And he got it. He pulled it. It's a good fish. It's a real good fish. Keep fighting, little girl. My gosh. Woo! Biggest thing, guys, do not give it slack. All right, there you go. Let me answer my phone here. Oh! Let's catch one more here, and then we'll kind of close it off. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing with the vertical jigging. Now, a lot of times I just go right down to their face and just jig it right in front of them. Um, this is kind of vertical jigging with a uh, spin. I mean, it's, uh, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, the fish, uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm putting movement in here. That doesn't always happen with the movement. Uh, throw some more thump gel in here. Um, this this thump gel, by the way, has a flake in it. Excuse me. Kind of show it, see if you can see it. There's a flake in that one. All of them have a flake, which really, I think, helps to 
make the jig stand out, but it also has a scent in it that they love. So let me just try to do one where I'm jigging straight down if I can. That means I gotta get on top of something and I'm not really on. Here's one I might be able to get on top of. Let's see what happens. Now this is this is a jig with vertical jig with no movement. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna let it coast. That fish came out and looked. Oh, he's coming back. Here he goes. I think they really like the movement right now. Okay, can you see that one? There's one fish up there, right there, that's attacking my weight. That's not a crappie. See, there he is, looking at my weight. So I try to keep the weight away from the fish. Okay, these guys do not want it sitting still today, apparently. So this right here is really how I vertical jig, guys. Um, to move it around a little bit because I can't get far enough out to him. Okay, he sees it. Let's see if I can bring him up. No. Okay. So let's do another cast out. There's a nice fish right there in the bottom. You see right now I'm right smack on top of them. Just kind of holding over their head. Got him. This is what's called vertical jig and not a very big one but I believe it's a keeper. I have to double check the size on that one. No, he's not a keeper. He's too small. Anyway, I have to use the pliers on this guy. Can't get my finger in his mouth. All right. Well, gentlemen, ladies, this is called vertical jigging. So once again, just in I'm glad I cannot remember the the, the uh, individual's name, but he said you didn't show us what you're doing So hopefully that shows you what I'm doing. I'm just gonna find a fish find a target. I'm gonna drop it down um, I always try to, to drop it out first and work my way in there uh, Certain times of the year during the spawn what have you. I mean you just drop it right down in front of them They're gonna attack it uh, Right now they're looking for a little movement in there so uh, that's kind of what we're doing when it comes to vertical jigging. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Do you vertical jig this way? Do you, uh, what do you, what do you do? Um, I'd love to know, and that's what the comments are there for. Plus it really helps my algorithm. Um, you guys leaving comments, hitting the like button also, and hitting subscribe um, kind of uh, shows YouTube that we need to be boosted up. Guys, we're growing. We're not there. We're not where I want to be. But um, we're getting close to 20,000. So if you would, hit that subscribe button. Just help us out a little bit, all right? I appreciate it. Thanks so much. And again, have a blessed day and a happy Thanksgiving. Y'all take care.